Hello traders, John at StockBookie.com. Today we're going to look at Goldman Sachs and JP Morgan Chase or JPM on the daily, weekly, monthly timeframes using technical analysis here at StockBookie.com. If you like these videos, go to my website, sign up, they're free, or click down here in the bottom right hand corner and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Traders, you're looking for a new broker? Check out VenomTrading.com slash promo slash StockBookie best in the business. Check these guys out. You won't be disappointed. VenomTrading.com. Check them out, guys. All right, let's get at the Goldman Sachs daily chart. We were down $5.07 red on the day, or 1.89% red. 50 MA, 382 retrace from this low, this high. That's my FIB levels. That's your zero. That's your 100%. This is where it's coming down now. You have your 250 that was holding on. With the 20 MA, as long as it was above there, it was a little more bullish, but now we got below it. Next level, you have the uh, 382 or the green line right at like 261.60. Then you have this uh, low pivot here at 259.56. If you draw a trend line here, guys, as well, let's see, let's get a trend line in there. I mean, it's, it's a little bit steep for me, but, you know, here here you are, connecting three lows. So let's do that. I, I didn't go to this one because I, I don't like the angle where it's a little bit too high. I like this one a little bit better. So let's see if this holds. So basically, guys, if you're bullish, you need to stay up in this area. You need to stay above this trend line. You need to get back above the 20 MA and recapture these this little high pivot, this little where it broke down the high of that bar. And then once you get here, you have some overhead resistance. And then, of course, double top at 275.31. So for the bulls, you just want to see this thing chop and start to turn upwards, so kind of like this. It pulls back, and then you kind of want to see that chop. Pulls back. This one came back down, but then see how it just bounced right back up, and then the slight pullback and part up. So will we get this slight pullback and then the bounce like this? Boom, a couple days up. You know, put put a little hurt on the uh, on the uh, shorts or the puts. And if it gets back up here, guys, I might put another put position on here on uh, Goldman Sachs, or I might write some calls. E either or, we're going to see how it looks once it gets up into this area, see where the options are at. All right, so that's a daily chart of Goldman Sachs. Let's get into the weekly. Weekly doesn't look bad. It's holding up here. It's uh, Here's that trend line I drew in there. So that's what that's kind of you know where you're looking for some, um, some support. 382, you're inside this bar too. So big area, guys, for this one's going to be around the 20 MA, uh, 256.19. That's what we're looking at. If you could close below that on a closing basis on the weekly, so let's see where Friday's close comes in. If we get, if we end up down here, guys, we could slide a little bit more, maybe come to the uh, 50 MA here at 238.43. So we'll be watching for that. If it holds this area, holds the 20, then we'll be looking, you know, a retest. Uh, Probably back to the 270 area. We'll be looking at that. And then if it gets a little higher, the 275.29 area, the double top, or the 275.31. So watch for that. But right now, nothing wrong. Still above the MAs. Still, you know, trend is your friend until the end, guys. So let's watch for this. Let's see what happens on uh, Friday's close. We have a couple more days. And then we'll take it from there on Goldman Sachs. All right, let's look at JPM. JPM, weekly chart. <clears throat> Gosh, what a run, guys. What a run. I mean, from 2017, this thing was a $67 stock. And it's almost 100% in a year, and it's J.P. Morgan. It just, just drives me nuts. <laughs> it really does. But we had a nice fall here, nice retrace to the highs. Here's where you're going to have some resistance up in this uh, candle where it was the old all-time high. That's what it's been trying to break through. Look at that. Trying to break through again. Got through, never confirmed, right back down. Got through, never confirmed, right back down. Now you're in between the 20 and the 50. So we're going to see what this thing does, how it sets up in the next couple of days. You are holding support down here at the uh, 113.26 area. Next big area will be this one here around 111.14. If you draw a trend line like we did before, I'm going to go from this one here again too. So you're right on top of it. It's a little bit, it's a little... Anyway, I'd rather have it down here a little bit more. You know what? Let's stick a retrace in here, too. I want to see where do we come down. Yeah, look at that. So we came out to the 382, and we kissed the 50 MA, and we closed above. So now we're waiting for pattern. This is slightly down, slightly sideways, though. You got a little bit of a tail here coming off 
these uh, little bottom tails on, you know, maybe a week ago, a week and a half ago. This is where we were adding the uh, short calls on the, uh, we didn't do JPM this time, but we did Goldman Sachs. But anyways, this one comes back to the double top, pulls back. Let's see where this one goes. Right now we're waiting for pattern and to see if we could get below this line. It's, it's not the best line in the world. You know, well, let's just, let's just take this. I'd rather have it like slanted like that. And if you really want, maybe take this one and put this one here. I don't know, something like that. But yeah, there's your line in the sand. There's your uh, 382, 50 MA. You got some other stuff here. If it gets below that, gets below these pivots as well, then you're probably looking at this one here. And remember, you make a low, you make a higher low. If that breaches this higher low right here and closes below the, say, 111 area, then that could uh, possibly start a little more sliding. And I, even on the daily, I'm looking for this thing at least to come to $100. And then we'll see from... Uh, see what it looks like on the weekly so 100 on the daily yeah we can like not yeah 98 42 100 bucks is pretty good i like where it popped up came out broke out do we come back here or do we come back and fill this gap around september i still personally think we still come back to these november lows eventually in this gap right here 67 dollars guys uh, we got we got a lot of work to do to get down there, but oh my gosh! And then we'll do the same thing. We'll just buy the dip and just ride it up this time. The Fed will come in, they'll print the money, do the same crap. It'll be uh, quantitative easing four or five or whatever it might be at that point, and then you know, and then just uh, let it ride, guys. Look at this gap <laughs> that is coming down in the next month or so, but we're due for a good correction, guys. And I think we're we're it's coming, so get ready. And I know I've been saying that for a little while now, so. You know, but it's uh, markets are looking tired. We got a rational uh, exuberance up here, guys. <laughs> so, but yeah, JPM, another one. Let's look at the monthly real quick on this. Look at that. I mean, a stretch. That's 91.47 right now is my target. I'm still thinking we could get down here at least to 81, then eventually to the 73.40. That'll be my target right in there. 70 bucks. Yeah. I think we're going to get cut in half. This run here, that's that's just outright ridiculous. 48 to 120. Oh, my gosh. Too far too fast, guys. I'm sorry. So I'm a little bit bearish on these markets, but when we there's going to be a time for me when I'm going to go, you know, long. I mean, even here on JPM, it isn't bad for a, maybe an option play. We'll um, write some puts on this one or short puts. So when this hits this and has a nine-day bounce, we can uh, collect the premium on that one. So, so JPM guys, it's still okay, still above the you know moving averages here, below the 20, but nothing wrong. As long as you're holding this trend line here at this point, it's not even connecting anything. <laughs> Hold on, let's see here. It was on there. I don't know why. All right, right there. So, so that's where we're at with that, and uh, let's see if it holds. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today with JPM and Goldman Sachs. Hopefully this helps some of you traders out there. If you have any questions or comments, send me an email at stockbookie at gmail.com. I really appreciate you guys watching, stopping by. God bless. See you on the charts.